welcome back to our channel. Um, today we are going to bring you some of the latest insights that, and trends that deal with the housing market here in Washington County. Um, we have some fascinating information that might change your perspective on what housing affordability is. You may think that buying a home today is, un is unaffordable, but it's important to look at the bigger picture. Um, so let's just dive into the data, shall we? So according to the recent surveys and analysis done by, by Realtor.com, um, buying a home in 2023 is not, I repeat, it's not the most unaffordable it's ever been. It's not even close, actually. In fact, the baby boomers had it much worse. In 1981, home buyers spent a staggering um, 51.3% of their household income on their mortgage payments. You heard that right, 51.3%. So imagine more than half of your income is going towards just your mortgage. That doesn't even include expenses like utilities, property taxes, insurance costs, homeowners association fees. It's, it's a sobering thought, isn't it? of housing affordability over the past 50 years, the Realtor.com data team has analyzed from 1973 onward. So you look at home prices, mortgage interest rates, and median household income. From this, they are able to calculate very typical mortgage payments as a percentage of household income. Now let's compare 1981 with today's market. So back then, homes were much cheaper. That is true. But it was it was household income mortgage rates in the 1981 that topped a staggering 18 to 21%. In contrast, today's rates are in the mid to high six range. Um, while the average family income has increased, so have the household costs. But still, buyers are still spending less on their overall mortgage than they were in 1981. In fact, buyers are still are only spending So that is far lower than 51.3% in 1981. So mortgage rates do play a crucial role in determining housing affordability. Higher re rates mean a larger percentage of your income goes towards interest payments. In the early 80s, as I mentioned, it took almost two decades to pay down just 10% of your principal. Now today's buyers, it only takes two to three years to accomplish that same milestone that it took um, home buyers two decades in the 80s to accomplish. But here's this, here's something that I found surprising that I hope interests you. Um, the recessions can actually be an advantage for buyers. It's counter, as counterintuitive as it may seem, during economic count downturns, interest rates tend to fall making home buying even more affordable. We saw this during the last recession and more recently during the days of the pandemic era, like as you, many of you heard me call it. Um, so lower interest rates triggered a buying frenzy. And during the pandemic, buyers could afford more of a house because interest rates were lower. However, as the rates have risen, affordability has decreased. So in May of 2023, buyers were spending nearly a third of their income on housing. So what does this all mean for you? Well, it could be crucial to consider historical context when evaluating the current housing market. While housing may be less affordable than you'd like it to be, it's still not the most unaffordable market it's ever been. Each individual's circumstances and financial situations are going to play a unique role in that. a lot to consider and one of the best things that we can do for you is get you with one of our preferred partners who are a lender that can help you analyze what your income looks like and to see if housing is an affordable option for you. 
you know, I often say it's better to own than buy, and I stand by that. Um, even if you are paying a little higher interest rate than you would like to pay, because historically you've seen it a little bit lower, you're still earning some equity towards your own financial freedom rather than paying 100% of your housing cost to a landlord. So as challenging as this may seem, it's not impossible, and we understand it has to be the right time for you. So let's get you connected to a, the right lender that would make sense for you. Let's talk to me, myself or my team, and let's find out what's really important for you so that you can make smart choices during this uh, season and you can budget accordingly with your finances and for your financial goals. This is Rebecca Bunny with Keller Williams at Sycamore Lane Realty Company. I hope that you guys have a great day and don't forget to subscribe. hit the bell button below if you haven't done so yet and we'd love to hear from you so whether you like what we're saying or whether you disagree with what we're saying please let us know and if there's anything that comes up that you are not getting answers to that you would like to know about please make a comment below or request a video and we can put that together for you and we're happy to help you because we are here for where you are growing next